Yes. You really are braver when you're toge together. Your I mean strength in numbers hey. rings true. <laughs> this is Amelia. She is 18 months old. She is a light in our lives. The day I knew I needed you. We spent several years after um, having our son Parker struggling to add to our family. After we kind of accepted the fact that maybe we wouldn't have another biological child, it sort of just dawned on me one day that, you know, maybe adoption is an, is an option. Uh, I went full board with it because, you know, it just seemed like something, the right thing to do. What adoption options does is truly magical. They work <sighs> magic for families. There are 1,406 buttons on this button tree. Uh, one button represents one day of waiting for our child. Uh, you get to that point where you know, you're, you're wondering, is it, is it gonna happen? Right. They called at 10, 16 in the morning and Mackenzie was the social worker and she said, are you sitting down? And I was like, I am now. And she said, you guys got chosen. And it was amazing. And guess what's in Calgary? A baby. <laughs> yeah. Are we getting it? Mm hmm Down hours? Yeah. Aww. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. He hugged Aww. Curtis and he said, well, thank you for getting us a baby. Yeah. And it was the sweetest thing. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> hmm. It just, uh, I don't know, affirmed that uh, that he was going to be a good big brother and, you know, kind of completed our family. So it was, it was just a good feeling. This stemmed from me stopping at the school to tell Parker that he was going to be a big brother. On the way to Calgary, the principal called, the guidance counselor <laughs> called, teachers texted me, and, you know, word just got around. And I felt not only were we completing this, completing our family for us, but we completed our family and brought home this baby and it was for everybody because like they walk that journey with us. You ready to meet your sister? Come here. Come sit down. You like her? So Amelia is one quarter Cree. In Alberta, when you adopt an indigenous child, you also um commit to a you commit yeah you commit to a cultural, cultural connection plan right, connection um, and that is to help them connect with their true identity right we didn't adopt her to change her or to right. have her assimilate with our family we want her to to be who, who she, she is, is. I want to change the world now. Um, <laughs> I find now when I see her fierceness, I might have in the past thought, oh my goodness, she's so difficult. But now I'm just like that fierce go, side of her. Yeah, I'm <laughs> like, you go girl, like you're going to change the world. Is that a hat? <laughs> Amelia truly, like there was a hole in our family and in our hearts for so long. And she just, she healed my heart.